Hello students. How are you? In last lecture, we discussed about some problems regarding regarding with the magnetic fields due to the electric current. Now in this chapter, also we study about some problems. In this problem, in a cyclotron, proton R to be accelerated. The radius of its d, d means this is 60 centimeter, and its oscillator frequency is 10 megahertz. What is the kinetic energy of the proton? When the atom is being accelerated, it is going to accelerate the proton. Upon the atom, the proton half particle accelerates the proton. Okay? And it is also accelerated. It is this kind. Its radius is 60 centimeter. आणि ऑसिलेटर आहे त्याची फ्रिक्वेन्सी जी आहे ती काय 10 मेगाहर्ट्स आहे दिलेले गोष्ट जी आपण गिवन r इज इक्वल टू 60 सेंटीमीटर कन्वर्ट करा सेंटीमीटर इनटू मीटर वी कैन राइट हियर 60 इनटू 10 रेज टू माइनस 2 मीटर नेक्स्ट फ्रिक्वेन्सी दिली आहे f इज इक्वल टू 10 मेगाहर्ट्स मेगा 10 रेज टू 6 देन वी कैन राइट हियर 10 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 10 रेज टू 6 6 प्लस 1 वी कैन राइट हियर 10 raise to 7 megahertz. Okay, now find out that angle of the light. That will be to find. Okay, find out that angle of the kinetic energy of the proton. Then the kinetic energy K E is equal to question mark. Okay, formula that angle of the light is that. That will be formula will be. Formula is that is that K E is equal to B square. ओके हा पेर फॉर्म्युला दे रहे थे इज पुले जा गया क्यू म्हणजे चार्ज ओके क्यू चा आहे की म्हणून चार्ज दे रहे चल काय करू नेक्स्ट रेडियस ऑफ द डिस्क आर इज 60 सेंटीमीटर बी 2 एंड एम मास ऑफ द प्रोटॉन इज 1.67 10^-27 10^-27 किलोग्राम ओके नाउ बट व्हाट अबाउट द बी एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ द बी there is the frequency then we can write here frequency is equal to q b divided by 2 pi m okay that is we can write here b is equal to 2 pi m f divided by q okay ani he gives b ji value apan ithe bolu koy and then finally solution kade tar ghela tar gelo okay then we can write here So in solution, K e is equal to B square Q square R square divided by 2 and instead of B, we can write here that formula. Kinetic energy is equal to 2 pi m f divided by Q. But here is a B square, so we can write here 2 square pi square m square f square Q square multiplied by Q square R square divided by the meaning term is 2 m. Okay, now Q square Q square gets cancelled. Instead of square, this term may get cancelled. M M gets cancelled. Okay, then we can write here kinetic energy is equal to 2 pi square m f square multiplied by r square divided by there is no any term for division then we can write here one okay putting all that value in this equation we got the kinetic energy in joule okay okay but in particle accelerator the energy is measured in a electron volt unit instead of joule therefore converting that joule into the electron volt by dividing 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 then we can write here 1.6 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 19 and this joule unit gets converted into the electron volt okay now putting all that value in equation 
kinetic energy is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 means 3.4 p bracket square multiplied by f f means frequency 10 raised to 7 10 raised to 7 bracket square multiplied by r square 60 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 2 bracket square divided by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 9 okay by using left table we can solve then the we will get the final answer kinetic energy is 7.5 mega electron volt this is the kinetic energy of proton when accelerated in particle accelerator okay right now okay now the next problem a loop of the form of showing figure carries a current I obtain the magnitude and direction of magnetic field at point P when the young problem is up to the line you can see the magnetic field as the direction and the magnitude of the okay divide that circuit into the is constituent electron sorry the conductors okay then this is the one of the conductor circular shape and this is straight line conductor now there are the two types of conductor circular shape and straight line we know that right hand thumb rule if thumb show direction of the current then color figure shows direction of the magnetic field then if thumb shows direction of current then color figure shows direction of the magnetic field it implies that due to straight conductor the magnitude sorry direction of the magnetic field is inside at point p okay now by using the right hand rule for circular type current carrying conductor if curl finger shows direction of the current then thumb shows direction of the magnetic field therefore the direction of the both due to that conductor and due to that conductor is inside okay therefore we can write here b is equal to b circle okay plus b straight line then we know that the formula for the circle or circular loop mu 0 divided by 4 pi current multiplied by angle divided by radius okay plus straight line formula mu 0 divided by 4 pi i divided by distance in bracket sin i1 plus sin phi okay now listen if this is the 90 degree then the angle of the circular loop is 270 converting that into the pi form we can write here 3 pi by 2 ok this is the angle now we want to find the length between p and o consider this is the right angle triangle having 90 degree ok then if this is the straight line then this angle becomes 45 degree and this angle becomes 45 degree ok now by using the trigonometric function PO or OP is equal to instead of that basically we can write here cos theta consider this is the theta ok cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse then we can write here adjacent side OP divided by hypotenuse means radius here is R then OP is equal to R into cos theta theta means 45 R multiplied by cos 45. Okay. Now next, we can write here OP means distance. Okay. And here sine phi one plus sine phi two. That is phi one plus phi two. Phi one plus sorry phi one is equal to phi two is equal to theta is equal to 45 degree. Then we can write here from that point mu zero divided by four pi multiplied by current current means i in 
I divided by radius. Radius is R. Okay, then we can write here R. Multiplied by value of the angle. Angle. Circular loop. Okay, then we can write here 3 pi divided by 2 plus u0 divided by 4 pi. I divided by distance. This distance. Okay, and we know that this distance is R into cos theta into phi 1 and phi 2 both are the same then we can write here sin phi plus sin phi that is 2 sin phi okay now converting that phi into the theta we can write here theta okay sin divided by cos 10 is equal to mu 0 divided by 4 pi i divided by r into 3 pi divided by 2 plus mu 0 divided by 4 pi i sorry 2 i divided by r sin divided by cos 10 and angle is 45 then we can write here 45 degree but we know that tan 45 1 okay finally is equal to mu 0 divided by 4 pi i divided by r into 3 pi divided by 2 plus mu 0 divided by 4 pi 2 i r multiplied by 1 ok taking the common things outside then you can write here mu 0 divided by 4 pi mu 0 divided by 4 pi mu 0 divided by 4 pi i divided by r i divided by r then you can write here i divided by r in bracket remaining term is 3 pi by 2 plus remaining term is 2 ok this is magnitude of magnetic induction at the p point due to that conductor ok and we know that the direction is inside by using the right hand thumb ok right on now in this problem
अपन ये माइंड है जब जैसे एंगल तो कॉस गे ओके क्या तो कहने लगा अपन कॉस गे ना रहे तो मतलब साकार बी टू बदल कहने लगा तुम्हें तो इक्कर कहने लगा तो अपन बी टू अनि एंगल दिखता है ना इतनी माइनस थीटा कॉस गे ऐसा कि साइन गे ऐसा जब जैसे अपन एंगल गे तो इतना क्या कहने लगा तो स मीता से बिंदु का एक्सेप्ट में दे 90 माइनस थीटा ओके चलो नेक्स्ट थोड़ा सा थोड़ा जाओ यार बी वन पर दिलवा सकते हैं टाइम इन रहे मतलब बी वन पेज में जा रहे हैं कॉस इन ब्रैकेट 90 माइनस थीटा ओके ये दोनों जा रहे हैं अतः मार्जर प्रश्न आता है बी वन कॉस 90 माइनस थीटा तो अपन यह बात करें B2 cos 90 minus theta तो अपन यह बात करते हैं तो B मंजे कौन है दो बांची डेरिस B मंजे क्या है दो बांची डेरिस मतलब ये फाइनली सारा इधर ही तो B is equal to B1 cos 90 minus theta plus B2 cos 90 minus theta पर थोड़ा सा सारा B1 अन्य B2 को नजर दे अपन B1 mu zero i divided by two pi d b two mu zero i divided by two pi d मुझे तो नहीं सेम है मगर आपने आज भी शुरू तो कहेंगे b is equal to two b one cos ninety minus theta okay तो cos ninety minus theta मुझे साइन दिखता है मगर आपने आज भी शुरू तो कहेंगे b is equal to two b one साइन theta चल अतः आगे इधर बढ़े ताज़े लाओ बीच की मत पूर्ण करें जैसे बी वन की मत पूर्ण करें क्या आप लाइन सर से हैं ओके क्या आप लाइन सर से हैं इतना क्या करना है यार बी वन की मत पूर्ण करना है चलो थोड़ा सा पूरा दावे एक जगह इतना बड़ा पूरा ना पूरा डबल एंगल फॉर्मूले जरा आपने तो क्या किया? जरा आपने तो माइंड था क्या है? साइन थीटा 
into cos theta. Two sine theta into cos theta is equal to sine two theta, and this is our answer. Mu zero, mu zero. I, I. Pi r, pi r. Two sine theta, cos theta. Two sine theta, cos theta is equal to sine two theta. Is equal to sine two theta. Okay. थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम को रिवाइज कर दूँगी तो एक पॉइंट ले लेना है मैं थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम रिवाइज कर दूँगी तो दो तीन दस तरह दूँगी तो आप भी पॉइंट आ सके ऐसी कहाँ जाओ मतलब मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन फैन डर कर रहे थे या तो वहाँ चल दी जी अंदर रहे ठीक थे आस पास रहे आर आस पास रहे या कंडक्टर मोड़ नहीं आ रहा है ये टिकिंग दक्षिण ही काम होता है सिर्फ या कंडक्टर मोड़ नहीं आ रही दक्षिण ही अपवर्ड ऐसे ओके नाउ या तो वहाँ चल मतलब एंगल इतना एंगल भी जाए थिटा इतना एंगल आए थिटा मुझे या तो वहाँ तो मुझे जो एंगल है तो एक डायरेक्शन मे जैसे एंगल घो तथा कॉस मिलना है ओके इकड़ा कॉस घाला इकड़ा कॉस घाजूला दो बेरीज होती बी इज इक्वल टू बी वन कॉस नाइनटी माइनस थीटा प्लस बी टू कॉस नाइनटी माइनस थीटा दो बेरीज के बी वन बी टू का सॉल्व By using the trigonometry, two sine theta into two sine theta cos theta is equal to sine two theta. Okay, we got our 